stay in bed. <laughs> Alice, I have honed this technique on our recent family vacation. I spend so much time when I'm here in the normal, whatever, seven to six grind, wishing I never had to get up on the time frame that I do. I'm not a morning person. So, on vacation, I tuned my skills at getting up at the crack of ten every day and leaping forth after another half an hour out of the room of playing with my phone. Thank you for reminding me, my dear, lovely wife. After that, however, I'll be ready for the world and the remaining 12 hours of the day. In that time, I will seek out fantastic foods full of bacon, a ubiquity of beverages and fluids to replenish myself after, well, no, actually, in, uh, in Riga, I would not have so much of the sweating experience as I did in the 90 degrees and 95% humidity on the East Coast, but I would still keep my fluid intake up, because we need to store it. Then, in the remaining three hours of daylight, I would take lovely walks alongside the lakes and rivers of city of Riga, hello, the countryside, and then take a little bit of time just to come down peacefully at the end of the day, fiddling with my phone, <laughs> <laughs> and start the cycle over again. Mr. Jacob.